Hey guys, just wanted to uh, share a little bit of information about this build. Um, you can follow along with me on um, the website called thesamba.com. Under the build thread, it's called Yamaduchi's 2498cc build. Um, for those that have been following along, it's taken a long time, years in fact. But today, I wanted to go over, before I get too far along on the build, I wanted to go over this dry sump pump. Now, dry sump pumps aren't used that often by too many VW guys, but in the case of uh, where my combo has a 90 millimeter crank in it, and the 90 millimeter crank tends to throw the oil everywhere and basically starve it from the bottom of the crankcase. So I basically wanted a scavenging system to evacuate the oil, take the foam out, and repump it back into the engine with a high pressure, the way it should be without uh, all the foaming and, and frothing. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just walk you through the plumbing of it, uh, starting with the pump itself is considered a two stage. Some people will argue and say it's one, one and a half stage or something like that, but clearly there are two sections to it. There is the scavenging section. This is a bug pack pump. It's about $265 when I bought it. It's probably more than that now, but so this is the scavenging phase where it basically will suck oil out of the oil, well, the bottom of the crankcase, and pump it out through the back hose that I'm pointing to up to the tank. Now, there's an extra port on this side that I have plugged off. You can run that to, let's say, the bottom of, val of valve covers, you know, maybe right here, or if you have another type of sump, you know, maybe I could put a sump plate on the very bottom. But what that causes is it's, the oil is gonna come from the least, the path of least resistance. So if it decides it wants to suck a lot of air from valve covers and instead of sucking it from the bottom of the crankcase, then that's not necessarily good. If you have oil in both locations equally, then using both those methods um, through the bottom of the case and through the scavenging port on the side that that would work if you had equal amounts of oil to pull But in this case, I just want to pull it from the crankcase So basically once Once the scavenger oil comes and this is kind of like a full flow This would be like a full flow application the case itself has been plugged internally and the inside of this pump um, If it were a normal pump essentially it's plugged um, like just like a full flow oil pump so instead of going into the case straight through that port it exits out through this port and follows down under the car through this hose up to the oil tank now the oil tank this is a Manx style buggy so I have plenty of room to put a tank where the back seat would be and today I'm working towards breaking the engine in so I'm actually putting the very first bit of oil in it and I use brad pen here I'll show you a little this is brad pen it's called the green oil it's break-in oil it's a high ZZ, ZDDP content so that will help my help me break in the cam and lifters without damage uh, to the cam and lifters through conventional oil that doesn't have does not have enough zinc and phosphorus so basically so i'm starting to put the oil in into the tank now this tank a whole i know it holds six to seven quarts because this is my very first time the engine and the tank are bone dry what i'm going to do is put several quarts in maybe two or three and i'm going to let this system gravity feed now gravity feed means um or let's, you know, you could, some people call it prime. Uh, basically, I'm filling the tank. Gravity's gonna allow the oil to come out the bottom feeder, which is right here. And it's gonna work its way over 
to the input side of the second phase or the, this is the pressure phase. So this will be the new supply, which is similar to pulling it out of the crankcase in a, in a normal oil pump system. So it's getting a supply here and this will pressurize the oil and then it'll go through its normal high pressure side. So it'll come out just like a full flow. It'll go to the filter, out of the filter. I have it going up to a, a thermostat, which this is on the top of the engine, sort of behind the, the uh, fan shroud. And this here is the thermostat. So the line will come through and it'll essentially, once this heats up to 180 degrees, it'll pass oil through these lines, these two lines and return the opposite line. And there's a, a cooler with a fan, which actually you can see I've mounted a fan above the transmission and air will, hot air will exit right here. So it has plenty of ventilation to cool the engine. Like I said, this is two, it's a 2498cc with a turbocharger. So it produces much more heat than a standard 1600cc Volkswagen engine. So if you have any questions, you can put them down below. You can link and subscribe. I'll be working on my channel a little bit more. Um, all right, have a great day.